Democrat leader to stand trial for bribery, libs can't believe their ears. Is political corruption on the ascent? Or on the other hand, would we say we are simply being made more mindful of it? Plainly had Hillary won the White House, regulated debasement would have shot off the outlines. So we avoided that one. However, there are a lot of lesser mortals who have been uncovered for alleged corrupt goes about as office holders. The chances to enhance yourself as a government official are incredible. For those given to take part in such activities, the challenge is to not get arrested. Furthermore, there are some gray areas also. All things considered, this writer can review a state legislator staggering around to answer the basic inquiry of an undergrad, what is the distinction between a lobby and a bribe? So we have been dealt with by news of yet another official blamed for expanding his compensation utilizing techniques at change with the law. This would be State Senator Nathaniel T. Oaks, a Democrat in Maryland. Prosecutors assert he admitted to taking money for political favors. He has pleaded not guilty. The trial approaches. A Maryland state senator has confessed to taking cash payments in exchange for conducting official business, federal prosecutors said last week. State Senator Nathaniel T. Oaks, a Democrat, is scheduled to stand trial in the spring on charges of bribery and obstruction of justice. Oaks has pleaded not guilty. Oaks' confession was revealed in a motion that prosecutors filed against a request by Oaks to have the bribery and obstruction charges tried separately, the Baltimore Sun reported. The next legislative session for Maryland's General Assembly begins Wednesday. Oaks' trial is set to begin right after the session concludes. So we have the familiar timing issue. He's innocent until proven guilty. Be that as it may. Would it be a good idea for him to be permitted to stay in office through this legislative session and until the point that such time as he may be indicted? Here are the points of interest. Oaks is accused of accepting $15,300 from someone he believed was a wealthy Texas businessman but who was working for the FBI, The Sun reported, citing information from prosecutors. Subsequently, while cooperating with authorities, Oaks reportedly coached an FBI investigation target to just say no when Oaks offered the subject cash as part of the investigation, court documents said. Along these lines, it would seem that Oaks got found in an FBI sting operation. That makes one wonder with respect to why the FBI was keen on him in any case. That inquiry stays unanswered. Not surprisingly, given the political idea of such issues, one's position on whether he ought to leave his seat or not is affected by party connection. The Republican representative wants him to leave. The Maryland Senate president, a Democrat, wants him to remain in office. Furthermore, the rest of us must be cautious that we don't end up noticeably negative, and like Diogenes, begin meandering around looking for one honest man or lady. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comments section below. Thank you for reading, for reading.